Let's examine M Auto Dynamic EQ's equalization features. The plugin is definitely well equipped enough to become your versatile go to EQ. Many of its key functions are available directly from the front panel. Double clicking here, or clicking on this tab here, opens the bands panel for a more in depth overview of the seven bands. Double clicking on a band's circular number on the display, or its respective number in the bands panel, will activate or deactivate that band. As with any EQ, the band's horizontal position on the graph sets its frequency, and its vertical position equates to gain. Dragging the horizontal nodes out or in will alter the bandwidth or Q of that band. The vertical node controls dynamic gain, which we'll look at later. And again, these parameters can also be set in the bands panel. As with the majority of the plugin's parameters, double clicking here brings up a number pad so you can type in precise values. In addition to these seven bands, you can quickly apply either a high or low pass filter by dragging the vertical red lines at either side of the EQ display. The 11 available slope values can be changed from a gentle 6 dB per octave to an extreme 120 dB per octave. When the Auto Listen tab is enabled, clicking on a particular EQ band will solo its effect. so you can hear the frequency range it's affecting in isolation. Clicking and holding anywhere on the equaliser display will also create a temporary bandpass filter so you can isolate specific frequencies. Dragging up or down alters the bandwidth of this filter. The reset button here will, unsurprisingly, reset all of your current EQ settings. The invert button gives you a handy way to completely invert a boost or cut. Useful when pinpointing resonant frequencies with a narrow peak boost. So for example a plus 10 dB boost will be inverted to a minus 10 dB cut. To open a particular band's in-depth settings menu, click on a band icon here, or right-click on the band number on the main display. Here we can choose between the 14 filter types available, and there's an impressive selection on offer. There are true non-resonant shell filters created using Melda Productions adjustable slope technology, and these are unique because they can be as steep as you want, but not resonant at all. You've got more gentle high and low slopes. Resonant band pass, notch and peak. and flat-topped band shell filters. The general panel gives you access to parameters we've already explored, both on the EQ display itself, 
or in the previous bands panel. Here you can also choose which particular channel a band will be affecting. We'll look at the dynamic section later. The harmonics panel gives you the ability to add up to 16 harmonics on top of the fundamental frequency of each EQ band. So you can increase or decrease discrete tonal components of a sound with relative ease. When at its default 0%, the depth parameter does nothing. 100% adds harmonics at equal gain levels to the original band. Negative values will alternately boost and cut odd and even harmonics. Useful for creative effects. The semitones parameter defines the spacing, and therefore frequency, of the harmonics. The linear button allows you to toggle between logarithmic and linear modes. The maximal count is simply the number of harmonics created. Each harmonic can be turned on or off via its own button along the bottom here, independently of the rest. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.